Okay, the first step to setting up the uh, network or remote access for the software compressed DVR card would be is you want to open your Internet Explorer window and you want to log into your router. So my router login is 192.168.1.254. Now some are dot one dot one, but you can look up in your router manual to figure out which um, is your default login. Now on mine, what I do is I go here. This is through AT and T. I go on home network, click on my computer here, and edit the firewall settings. Go put my password in. Okay, then it asks me if uh, if I'm using one of these individual applications or I want to add a user defined one. Now, on mine, I want to add a user defined application. Now, your router may ask for this, or the other thing is it may be called port forwarding. Um, it's either something like similar to this, or port forwarding would be uh, also what it's called. Now, if you don't know how to do the port forwarding on your router, you can go ahead and go to this website, which is portforward.com. And at portforward.com, you can um, click on where it says router list, and it has a list of all, almost all the routers out there. So we'll say you have a Linksys. Well, let's say you have this WAG54G, for instance. If you click on there, and you want to go to where it, they say, uh, well, maybe this one doesn't have it. Um, oh, right here, default guide. So you click on default guide for that router, and it basically shows you, okay, you use this IP address to log in with, you know, you type your password in, it'll come up with this screen here, where it says, you know, this one's under applications and gaming, and then you select the uh, single port forwarding or port range forwarding, and that's how you get in that particular router. So, whichever router you have, you basically want to get to this screen, which is the port forwarding. So, we'll call this DVR1, and you want to select um, TCP or both, whichever option you have. On your router for the port forwarding, you don't want you don't need to do UDP. So for the red DVR, there's a range of 7,000 through 7,064. It is your is your range you want to forward. Now if it was just a single port, we just put the one port in both spots. Now for mine, also it says host map port, which is some say start port or other other things there for the, what port this is, but this is basically the first port, which is 7000. And then my application type is just a default. So if I go add definition, it'll think here, and so now that that's added. So for the red one, you need 7000 through 7064 port forwarded. Then the other one you'll need to do is just one single port, which is 9,000, port 9,000. And then you put 9,000 here. And add definition. So now I got for DVR application one, I got 7,000 through 7,064 and port 9,000. So now those both are uh, those both are forwarded. Um, so I click on this one. I have to. I mean, some of you just it's just automatically are forwarded like that. Here it has my DVR one uh, app under applications. So I add that. And now those ports are forwarded. So I go done. So now my computer has those uh, those those uh, those ports forwarded. So now we're 
that's the first step. The second step would be you want to make sure on your DVR on the software when you go here to where you go to parameter setup. Um, I'm sorry, no, you don't go to parameter setup. You go to uh, network state. You want to make sure this web port is not 80; it's 9,000. Um, that needs to be set 9,000. That's your web port, so you can log in remotely through uh, Internet Explorer. It'll say you need to restart the computer, but you really just need to restart the software to take effect. So you do that and then restart it. 